Hello, everyone, and welcome sponsors to the About Your Sponsorship Benefit. Uh, we do this for every DrupalCon just to help you guys out with any logistics, questions, coordinations, um, or concerns that you have with your sponsorship. DrupalCon is a monster of its own, and our sponsorship packages tend to be unique in its own as well. So this webcast is here to help you guys out answer any questions that you guys have uh, in regards to your sponsorship package and basically any uh, general overview to make your experience a little bit better. Um, first and foremost, I want to welcome you guys all and thank you. Without your guys' sponsorship support, DrupalCon would not happen and I can't stress that enough because um, it's true. and. Uh, it is our role and it is my role to make sure that your sponsorship is appreciated and you guys have um, as easy as time and as fun as time as possible. So that's where this comes in. Um, if you have any questions during this uh, webinar, feel free to drop them in the Q&A window and um, Brennan on the other end of this will answer them and pause me when he has time and we'll... Uh, and so those live right here for you. All right, so just to get started right away, here's an agenda of today. Uh, we're gonna cover our, all the benefits uh, that come with the sponsorship packages. Keep in mind that all the benefits don't apply to your specific sponsorship, um, but I will go over all of them just because uh, basically each sponsorship packages is a combination of these base benefits. So. I'm going to cover how to fulfill them, what you need to do on your end, when things are due, and any specs and whatnot. Uh, and then I'm going to go over uh, exhibiting. So this is going to cover the schedule of the conference um, as far as exhibiting goes, so load and setup, when you need to be ready. Um, then we're going to get into ordering services and materials for your sponsorship or for your exhibiting booth. We work with a number of vendors, um, each kind of service their own need. So I'm going to cover there and uh, how to go about doing that. Uh, and then we're going to go over shipping. Shipping tends to be a little bit complicated, especially when we are working um, internationally like we are now. And Dublin in particular has strange customs uh, to follow. Uh, and then we're going to go over basic travel and hotel to the venue and to uh, Dublin. And uh, many of you probably already know or are familiar with it, but again, DrupalCon is pretty unique. So I'm just going to go over the general program of DrupalCon and what each programming aspect is for um, the conference's events. So as I mentioned before, we're going to start with uh, your benefits. So all of you should have received a, an email from me that will basically say, welcome to DrupalCon Dublin 2016, uh, important information about your sponsorship. In that initial email, there was a few due dates, but more importantly, there was a link to this DrupalCon Dublin sponsor event kit. Inside this event kit, you can literally find based everything that you need in regards to your sponsorship. So you can find due dates, you can find contact information, you can find schedules, um, links to specific submission pages, whatever it may be. It's all gonna live here, but do keep in mind that this is basically a document consolidating information from um, outside resources. So if you wanna look at something specifically, say, Shipping and handling, be sure to look at Interflow's um, personal document and get in contact with them. But um, if you want a quick, if you have a quick question that needs to be answered, you probably find the answer here. Um, and then I also want to point out that this is a very long and complicated um, document. Uh, so just be sure when you're reading this, you're only reading what pertains to your specific sponsorship package. So um, I point out, I created this sort of 
checklist of five things, the first things that you should do. And so the first thing I always like to do is go to the table of contents. Um, and when you go down to the table of contents here, you can just simply find your sponsorship package. So if you're a core sponsor, you'll go to core. If you are a module sponsor, say you are a lunch sponsor, you go to your lunch and you can find what specifically needs to be done in regards to that specific sponsorship. Um, okay, so per this uh, front page, I just wanna let you know that if you guys are a core sponsor and you haven't chose your bonus yet, most of you have, please let me know. Um, and then just begin to run down each benefit that pertains to your seeing important deadlines, um, how to deliver upon them, and um, basically how to fulfill them on your end. And then I point out four or five more important and pressing matters that you can look at here, and then information about our um, exhibitor service partners, so Hume and CCD cover all that later so uh, let's jump right into the benefits again all these won't apply to everyone but uh, since you know I can't narrow it down who I'm talking to I'm just gonna go ahead and cover them first one is um, your DrupalCon tickets I've sent most of you your tickets and basically what I sent was a set amount of these unique codes There's six digit codes so if you're a diamond, you got 20. If you're a silver, you got three. If you're a lunch, you got two. Um, and what you need to do with these codes is go and redeem them. So you can redeem them by sending them to the person in which is going to claim the ticket. You can redeem the ticket for someone else, or you can redeem the ticket for you. And so how that works is when you go to the DrupalCon website, you'll want to go to register now. And as soon as this loads, you'll see a redeem a ticket page. So again, these codes that I'm sending you are blank and empty tickets. They aren't coupon codes as they were um, in the past. These are empty tickets ready to be redeemed. Simply take the ticket code, enter in your reservation code here. Notice that your Drupal.org account will be uh, filled in automatically here. And then continue through registration. No need to go through a checkout. No need to go through an ordering process. The number one thing to keep in mind is that whoever is claiming this ticket needs to have a Drupal.org account or be using an email address that is associated with their Drupal.org account. So if you don't have a Drupal.org account, or if you're trying to redeem the ticket for someone who doesn't have one, make sure they go ahead and get one done and then uh, use that information. And then to jump back up to the top here, the next thing I wanna talk about is just your exhibiting booth. So if you're a core sponsor, meaning you are um, a diamond, platinum, gold, or silver, you get a booth or an exhibiting space. Um, so just as a quick overview, if you're a diamond or a platinum, you get a six meter by two meter booth. Golds get three meters by two meters, and silvers get a two meter table. So to get a better idea of what this looks like, is in Europe, we or DrupalCon Europe, we go with the shell scheme booth. So right here, this is what you're seeing is two three by two meter booths put together. So if you're a diamond or a platinum and you have a six meter by two meter, you will remove this wall and uh, you'll have the full space to work with. If you're an end cap uh, or you're on the side, you'll notice that um, you'll be open on two sides. But if you're enclosed, meaning you have a sponsor on either end of you, you will be closed on each side. Um, silver sponsors, this is the exact setup that you will be provided. Uh, two chairs, table, tablecloth, and in each booth, uh, whether if you're gold or platinum, you will also be provided the same setup. So what comes with your booth? You get shared Wi-Fi, but um, as we all know, uh, Wi-Fi is not guaranteed, but you do have the option to order hardwire uh, jobs if you are concerned about this. 
Um, you get one or two tables, depending on if you're a six meter by two meter or three meter by two meters, plus two chairs per table. Um, what's great about this year's uh, or this DrupalCon Europe is that it does come carpeted, so no need to order any carpets. Though, um, if you want to stand out a bit and have uh, your booth space be separated from the general gray carpeting, you are welcome to order um, custom carpet or just have custom colors. There will be um, uh, electricity provided. You'll have one double socket, which provides 1,000 watts. Again, this is different than that's happened in the past, so um, I think you guys will be happy to learn. Uh, there will be two spotlights inside your booth, uh, and you can have them point whichever which way that you want. One waste basket for trash or rubbish. Um, if you notice here, you'll see a fascia board. You can customize this. You can have it be a uh, printed design in which you'll work with you, our vendor partner. Um, but if you don't uh, make this known, it will come just saying your company name. So um, if you want that customized, again, that is an option. Um, and then if you are a silver table or if you're a silver sponsor and you just have the table, you are welcome to bring in a uh, freestanding banner as long as it's no longer than two meters wide or a quarter meter uh, in depth essentially the length of your table um, without protruding too far behind you. Um, obviously, if you have a booth, you're welcome to affix anything to the walls, customize it as much as you would like, um, as long as it fits within the booth. But when you are um, a silver sponsor, you are really confined to your booth space or to your table. Um, aside from the freestanding banner, you are welcome to order monitors and Use this as you will, and you can place the, um, the banner behind you or to the right of you, but um, keep in mind that space is limited. All right, so again, coming back up top here, just walking down the list of benefits. Again, this is a complicated uh, event kit, which I'm working on making simpler. The next thing is just logo placement on the website. Nothing you really need to do here, but it is important that you send me your most up-to-date or correct logo. Uh, some people or some companies want us to promote a specific product, sometimes um, logo or branding change midway, but you can also provide the correct URLs. So go ahead and send me the right logo um, and the URL you would like me to link it to, and I'll go ahead and upload it for you. The next thing I want to point out is the um, two ads. So um, if you're a diamond, platinum, or gold, you get a uh, print ad in our program guide. Um, if you follow this uh, bookmark, you'll see the specs for that. Um, and it's important that I want to um, note that this is actually due July 20th. This, some, this uh, takes a little bit more internal work on your end. So if you haven't started on that already, uh, please do. Um, diamonds and platinums, you get a full page ad. Uh, golds, you get a half page ad. Uh, for the web ad, also due on the July 20th, please um, keep in mind there. Uh, you each, diamonds and platinums each get the same size. And again, if you follow this link, you can see the specs here. So um, for the print ad, you'll notice that if you're a full page or if you're a half page, you can find the specs here. Um, here are the specs for the Dublin site or for the uh, web ad. This web ad is actually gonna be on the homepage of the DrupalCon website. So, um, you know, it's a pretty good benefit, and the great part about it is, is you can uh, link it to whichever URL you want. So when you have these ads ready, please just send them directly to me. And again, the deadline for that is July 20th. And if you were um, not aware, when you click on these dates, it will actually take you to a... Uh, 
calendar or a list to where you can see all the upcoming dates. Again, many of them won't pertain to you, but for the ones that do, you can click this and you can copy it to your calendar so you don't forget. The next thing I would like to talk about is the tote bag item. Uh, this one, again, doesn't apply to everyone. It applies to diamonds and platinums and the tote bag sponsor, but this takes quite a bit of time as there are um, logistics involved. Um, the due date for this is July 16th. Uh, you can add that from uh, the DrupalCon calendar if you would like. But basically what the Drupal or tote bag item is, is during registration, each attendee will be handed a bag full of goodies from you guys. Um, this can be stickers, this can be little tchotchke toys, um, it can be pamphlets and flyers. Obviously, the more attractive or unique the item, the bigger the impact it's going to be on uh, the attendee. Uh, throwing flyers in there is an option but I bet most of them will be thrown away. So please, if you're going to take advantage of this benefit, um, you know, make it worthwhile. Um, the bags are relatively small, however, so, um, you know, a full-on poster panel or laptop might not be the best bet, but um, there are some pretty unique cool, smaller branded items that you can put out there. Um, the most important aspect of this is going to be the shipping, but we'll get into that later. Just be sure it's arrived by September 16th to the advanced receiving warehouse. Um, for the name room and uh, podium, uh, again, this is only applies to diamonds and platinums. I just want to make sure that, um, just kind of point out what this is. So each of these sponsors get a room named after them. So if there's a session room, this session room will be named sponsor dash room number. Uh, so if you are uh, going to attend a session or if you submitted a session and it looks like um, this company is in your room, it's not. It's just a way to designate this area. So if you want to see, um, if you're looking at a map and you're getting lost, you can say, I'm looking for X sponsor room or, um, um, you know, X boff room, whatever it may be. But if you are a diamond or a um, platinum sponsor, just go ahead and send me your print ready vector logo and I'll take care of making sure your logo is represented on the maps um, and on the podium signs within this room. The keynote introduction, nothing that you anyone really needs to worry about here. These are custom uh, opportunities work directly with uh, their respective sponsors. But I do want to cover the Drupal Showcase. This is another difficult um, benefit to fulfill, but probably the most advantageous if it's done right, and more importantly, if it's done in time, and you'll notice the due date is actually uh, tomorrow. I've been working with a bit of you before, but essentially what the Drupal Showcase is, is a um, case study in which our sponsors have the options to present. Um, so you do not need to go through the selection process as the uh, as a typical session goes, however, you do need to submit one. So to find more information on that, please follow this link because this link that you see here, where it says "Submit Your Session," this is a custom link only available to uh, you as sponsors. You can get an abstract of really what we're looking for. Again, it's case studies. Feel free to bring in your um, clients to talk with you through these case studies. So then go to submit a case study or, or submit a Drupal showcase. You'll see um, if you have a Drupal Auto account, you'll be auto-populated there. Input your abstract, attach any files, make sure you designate the experience level. But um, where it gets really specific is you need to scroll down here and select a Drupal showcase. Um, business sometimes gets confused. 
uh, so again, just be sure you scroll down to session track Drupal showcase um, and go ahead and save it. And when this is done, please let me know and send me a link to your submission and so I can publish it for you. Because right now, submissions has closed, um, but I do have the authority to publish it live for you. Because again, as a sponsor, these are automatically accepted. Um, but it's just important because the success of this um, session, which can have a huge impact, um, is based solely on the content you submit and whether people see it. And people can't see it unless you submit it. So please uh, send those over to me. Um, and if you are a core sponsor, we do actually have um, some time available. Uh, if you do are interested in purchasing a um, a full 60 minute session. Uh, we do not offer 30 minutes or 15 minute sessions for purchase, but you can purchase a full 60 minute one. This is a great opportunity to, you know, have some good content during the event. Uh, if you are interested, contact your account manager, whether it's Delana or Mark or Carrie, or just let me know and I will um, direct you to the right person. Um, the next part I would like to talk about is just the logo and the email. So Diamond and Platinums get their um, logos included in the um, attendee emails. I'm sure if you're registered or if you've been to a Drupalcon before, you've seen these attendee emails. So nothing you really need to worry about there unless you are a Diamond and a Platinum sponsor. Just go ahead and send me your logo. Um, the Drupal newsletter. So you'll see this down here. Um, Drupal Association newsletter post. Don't worry about it here because this really is done on an individual uh, basis and I will work with you directly. But the important thing here is to note this is a Drupal Association newsletter post, not a DrupalCon um, newsletter post. So there's a difference there. For on the other hand, if you have an inclusion in an attendee email, so if you're a diamond or if you're a platinum um, and you're one of the three to have claimed this benefit, you do have the ability to send me uh, some content. It's limited to um, a certain character amount. And it will be included in one of these DrupalCon attendee emails. Please send me that by August 28th, and I will take care of that for you. The next benefit I want to talk about is the attendee list, because this does apply to uh, quite a few of you. Um, the attendee list is exactly what it sounds like. It's a list of all the attendees in which I will send out to you. However, it only comes with the name company, title, and geographic information only. There is no contact information. And um, if you want the contact information, we won't provide it for you. I'm sorry. That's, um, you know, we'd like to hold our attendees' privacy uh, true, so we won't um, cross any boundaries there. However, when you do get the attendee list, there is this community page. So if you go to the DrupalCon website, simply go to community, look who's coming. You can see um, public profiles of everyone who has opted in to be on this public page. You can see their job title, you can see their names, you can even see a picture of them, but even better yet, you can contact them directly. So um, it's always uh, good to just scout out who's coming because if you've never been to a DrupalCon before, there's a lot of people. If you're interested in setting meetings with people, if you're interested in um, just general networking and you know the type of people that you want, that community page is a great tool. Next part because would be the Drupal jobs credit because this does apply to everyone. So this one's gonna be a little bit more complicated. On August 26th, I will be sending you a coupon code for Drupal jobs. If no one, if you have not been to Drupal jobs before, it is a very, very cool job board because it is, focuses on Drupal. So if you are in need of a Drupal developer, a Drupal front-end developer, an architect, a project manager, a salesperson, these job posts um, 
allow you to target these uh, this talent, which most of us know is pretty difficult to find out there. So I will be sending you a code, and how it will work is you will go to Drupal Jobs, so jobs.drupal.org, store, and as mentioned in the event kit, you either are going to get five featured postings or ten regular postings. So most of you will have ten regular postings. Uh, so what you'll need to do is you add one to the cart, add more, all the way up until uh, you reach the ten job credits uh, mount. You'll see this is a hundred ninety nine dollar value per job so this is very valuable if you want but when you use this code it's important that you have all 10 credits in your account as you proceed through checkout as this code will only apply to a specific um, value um, you need to use this code within 30 days or it will expire however if you purchase all 10 of these uh, job credits they will live in your um, they will live in your Drupal Jobs account until you use them. So if you don't have a need for 10 Drupal developers, but you think you might later on, please just redeem this coupon code in this coupon field as soon as you can. Add coupon and you'll see all 10 discounted down to zero in which you can proceed from there. The next um, benefit I would like to cover real quick is the listing in the program guide. So you'll see that right here. Um, very simple. Just send me over when you ideally when you're sending me your logo and URL, the name of your company, how you wish it would how you wish for it to be listed in print. So some people again have a specific uh, products they would like to push or um, abbreviations or capitalizations or spaces, however it may be, just make sure you send that over to me. Um, for the next one, the logo on the main screen side, nothing you need to do there, aside from sending me the correct logo. So I always recommend, first thing you do, send me the logo, name, and URL, and it will take care of all of these for you. Another benefit as a sponsor, uh, you get to provide trivia night prizes. Drupal Trivia is probably one of the most popular events um, during the whole conference. And you as a sponsor have an opportunity to donate prizes to be given away um, with attribution to you. So the bigger and better the prize, the bigger and better the impact. Simply bring these items to registration desk at um, DrupalCon. The last benefit that I would like to cover is access to the VIP uh, sponsor slash board of reception. Uh, this happens on uh, Wednesday of the DrupalCon after the day's activities at the venue. It's pretty fancy, nice networking opportunity, free beverages, free snacks. Um, and as a sponsor, you get a set amount of passes or tickets. So if you haven't done so already, you want to simply RSVP through this um, web form we've created here for you. Again, you only get a certain amount of them. So whoever you decide to send, make sure um, you know it's worthwhile. Um, a lot of people like to send executives or leaderships or uh, anyone else that it's important to network in front of some of the most um, from some of the most well-recognized Drupal figures within the community. Um, this is a great, great event. I take a lot of pride in it, so um, I would love to see all you guys attend and um, you know talk to you myself. Uh, so again, if you're not a core, so now the next thing I want to talk about. Is, so if you're not a core, so uh, you are a lunch or a sprint sponsor or whatever it may be, go to your specific sponsorship and you can. Um, find these exact same things. So all these uh, module sponsorships are basically just um, a combination of the ones below. So how to redeem your tickets, um, how to submit your program guide ad, it's all there. Um, however, if you are a 
lunch sponsor or any sort of sponsor that deals with catering, so coffee, lunch, sprints, opening receptions, you have the option to provide branded catering items. I just sort of quickly want to cover what that means. So if you want your uh, coffee to be served in a branded coffee cup with your logo on it, you have the option to do that. Or if you want it, napkins to be served, you have the options to do that. But you are responsible for having them produced and for paying for them. And then you have to ship them. So there's information um, on how to ship them. Uh, in this side this event kit, but as far as procuring the items that it's up to you But this is a great benefit because it gets your brand in everyone's hand All right, so the next thing I want to talk about is exhibiting so uh, The first place to start here would be the exhibiting schedule So this basically is when is the exhibit hall open? Um, and when you need to be fully staffed and ready to go. Uh, so that means um, when you should have max capacity staff to handle large traffic or um, you know, maybe some time to relax a bit. So the first thing we want to point out is that uh, you can start setting up your booth on Monday, September 26th at 12 o'clock. You'll notice here from 12 to 15, is load in and set up, meaning you are will you are able to load in any large material bags, however it may be. But at 15 o'clock, the large garage doors close, and so you'll be forced to use the front door, which is going to be a little bit more difficult. Um, but you can continue setting up all the way until 17 o'clock, at which time opening reception starts. So again, this is Monday. September 27th or September 26th at 17 opening reception starts. This is a very important time to be fully set up and fully staffed as uh, the next two hours will probably be the most busy. You will see the exhibit hall the entire conference. This is due in part to this is the only thing happening in the entire event. So a lot of people like to dedicate this time to pass out all their swag. Um, just get all their branding items out there, um, collect leads, and then leave the rest of the days to have the sort of more um, rich conversations that you are there to have. Um, there's going to be drinks, snacks, and a lot of excitement. So please be ready, again, for opening and reception. The following two, two days, Tuesday and Wednesday, uh, we'll have the same schedule. The exhibit hall will be open to the public at 10.15. You will be able to come in there earlier uh, as a sponsor. Um, and it's going to be the designation on your badge, which will let you um, come in. So if you are registering, make sure that you indicate you are a sponsor. Um, and then it will be open until 18 o'clock. Um, I have these breaks highlighted because these will be the most um, heavily trafficked times of the day and these are the times of the day where you guys will want to be fully staffed at the booth while sessions and bobs and trainings are happening um you know it's not as important there will be people but uh these break specifically so at 10 15 to 11 there will be a large uh free coffee break this is going to be a pretty popular one so be staffed there new this year there's going to be two lunches so basically from 12 to 14 just stay ready. Um, you guys will have access to lunch before and after, and you guys are always obviously welcome to grab the lunch during the lunch break. Um, so keep in mind that um, it's important during lunch to have ma as much staff as you can so people can grab lunch or um, you know communicate with attendees as needed. And then from 1515 to 1545, there will be a short break. On Thursday, um, it's essentially the same schedule until um, 14.30, at which time you can begin tearing down and moving out. Um, and you have until 18 to be out of the exhibit hall. Um, and during tear down and move out, if you have outbound shipping needs, um, you are, of course, welcome to arrange this through your own carrier, but our... Um, Courier partner Interflow can handle this for you. 
Um, they like to point out that, uh, you know, Dublin is pretty unique and complicated as far as, you know, correct filing and declaring for customs. So they welcome all of you to contact them directly and work that out for them. Um, and just a quick overview, because obviously it's nice to know where or what it's going to look like. You can find a link to the exhibit hall here and just see the general layout of the booth. Um, what you see here is these orange lines are where the buffets are going to be uh, during lunch. Uh, the blue is salad stations during lunch. The red is coffee during lunch and during um, coffee breaks. Purple dots are going to be um, dessert stations. These blue booths are going to be the shell booths. These tables on the side are going to be the silver tables. And all these little gray dots in between are just general tables for people to sit at. Um, you can take a, take a time to look at that if that's what interests you. All right, so now that we know what the layout look at like and what the exhibiting hours looks like, it's kind of important to know um, how to go about customizing your booth. Again, if you don't have a booth, this probably won't matter to you. But um, basically, we have three partners. We have Hugh Expo. They are going to be the ones managing your setup of your booth. Um, if you want to have customized furniture or customized booths in general or specific lighting, audio, visual, you order that from them. And you can even work with them directly. So basically just email, email Hugh himself and you guys can build custom booths. But again, of course, I mean, they, they will charge a fee for there, but um, that is an option. The next partner is the CCD or the Dublin Convention Center, which is where the event's going to be. So if you are interested in catering, hospitality, audio, or hardwire internet, you'll want to do that through um, catering. Our other partner is Interflow, which I've touched on. Interflow is our shipping and logistics partner. Um, I'll cover that later, but for now, I just want to quickly walk through um, Hugh and the CCD. As mentioned, um, Hugh is in charge of furniture rentals, displays, custom booths, branding, um, additional electrical needs, lightings, and then uh, any printed panels or, uh, you know, that custom fascia board I mentioned before. So what they provide for you is a ordering system. Um, it's just a general commerce site. Um, it's pretty easy to navigate. So if you want a, uh, if you want to look at, let's say, specific furniture, you have the ability to scroll through catalog style and add it to cart. Um, if you want to do some stand upgrade products, so this is going to be um, if you want these printed counters or if you want uh, your own graphics and design you can do this here you add it to cart and um, when you get to add to cart you'll be able to proceed to check out you can input specific notes about how you want it to look you can attach files um, make sure you indicate that you are um, doing this for DrupalCon Dublin and then the thing I do want to point out is that you won't be able to order until you have been given an official booth number or stand number. Uh, we are underway with booth selection, but official numbers have not been uh, designated yet. But we still have time, so don't stress. Don't worry about it. Just uh, know that this is there. Because the same thing is going to happen when you go through um, ordering catering through the CCID. So what's different, though, is you do have a show ID. When you go to K or the CCD portal, you're going to want to enter in the show ID here. So I provided it. You just simple copy-paste. And you continue to uh, exhibitor ordering. Again, this is if you have a booth um, and you would like to order some sort of catering. So. 
I always recommend if you want people to come to your booth, you know, give them a reason to come. So free food and drinks is always a good um, option. Um, you're going to need to create an account here. So if you don't have an account, create an account and then go in and go ahead and log in and you will have access to um, essentially another commerce portal in which you can order um, specific foods, specific beverages, alcoholic, non-alcoholic. You can order um, professional services such as um, bartending, security, um, cleaning. Um, but that's nice. It's a nice little tool. And there's also some additional... Um, um, audio visual equipment you can order through them and hardwire internet and I want to stress out that you will need to order everything by September 9th to avoid a 25% surcharge this goes for Hue and the CCD um, again September 29 or September 9th but there is plenty of time so just because you don't have your booth number now doesn't mean you need to stress you don't have your booth number on September 8th yes you probably should stress but uh, I'm going through uh, booth selection as fast as possible and should have uh, this information for you soon the next part I would like to cover um, as far as your sponsorship is going to be your shipping and handling information I mentioned before that our partner is interflow logistics they're based right there out of Dublin, so they understand um, their customs and uh, clearance needs more than anyone. So I always recommend just contact them directly. They are happy to help, and they've been telling me to have you guys uh, work with them directly. Here's all the contact information you need. But um, if you have special needs or confused, they're either going to be the ones to go to. Because essentially what I did is just uh, consolidate the information from their uh, documents that you can find multiple times throughout here and put it in an easy to read format. So yes, you can find stuff in this event kit, but again, uh, if you want the more specific detailed information, I recommend uh, just working with them. Um, so the first thing that I do want to cover is that they do provide a advanced warehouse. So if you're shipping anything to be that you need at your booth or you need for uh, your specific module sponsorship, um, you can bring this in. Um, you can use your own courier, but um, I highly, 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 highly recommend just shipping it to an advanced warehouse because they will take care of making sure it's at your booth when you arrive or it's at the specific um, location of the venue uh, depending on your sponsorship. So please just ship everything to the advanced warehouse. You can see the um, address here. And if you have a specific um, uh, designation where you want to be say you're shipping booth material we've even created these specific uh, labels for you to use so just put your booth number what carrier how many boxes that is that you're using um, and the items will be at your booth when you arrive If you're shipping a tote bag item you have your own special um, label here so Always just designate what your sponsor is. So who, what's your sponsor's name? Um, who the courier is. And I always recommend if it's for your booth or if it's for a tote bag or if it's for just general swag to be distributed at the summits or sprint, write on the box as many places as you can your name, what the item is, and what the item is for. So if it's for a booth, Say it's for the booth, if it's for the tote bag, say it's for the tote bag, and label it everywhere you can on the outside. Because um, when you're put on an event handling about, handling hundreds and hundreds of shipments, you know, sometimes it gets confusing. And so if you're shipping catering information, or if you're shipping items for, uh, you know, a branded catering sponsorship, you have your own label as well. But just be sure that this you designate saying this is for Tuesday coffee or for the Monday first time attendee social. Again, 
the more details, the better. Um, and if you're, there are deadlines associated with this. I pulled them out here, but again, you can be found in the document. So our show dates are uh, 27th through 29th. Um, depending on which uh, transport method you are taking, um, you're gonna need to be 10 days, 18 days, or five days, three days before um, the requested delivery date. But I just recommend ship everything uh, between September 16th and September 22nd. Um, deadline, certain deadlines do apply. And once you pass this, um, depending on which, uh, which uh, method you're using, if you uh, go beyond this 18 days or this five days, you will be charged a 25% surcharge. So on top of your general costs, you will be charged 25% more. So pay attention to these um, dates, add them to your calendars. Um, again, you can find the shipping and guidelines and ordering forms here. So everyone's gonna need to order shipping and handling, order the, um, the transferring, and this is where you can do it. So simply fill out a booking form. So exhibition, Drupalcon, Hall, exhibit hall, booth number, um, exhibitor, so that's your name. All this information I don't know for you, but uh, I'm sure you can figure it out. Here is your payment information. Um, and then you also need to fall or, uh, fill out a sample commercial invoice and package list uh, for customs. Uh, there's a little bit more detail pulled out here on what that means. Um, and then you have, uh, the costs associated with it. So there's two documents here, the shipping guidelines and ordering forms. This is what it's going to say, what is needed, how to order it, and then if you're interested on how much it's gonna cost you, you can find that here. All right, so, now just to get into the general um, overview of the event. So about DrupalCon, if you didn't know, it's in Dublin. Um, if you're interested on, uh, or confused or wanna know the best travel routes, we provide this travel page. So go to about, get in here. And you can find uh, all that information uh, on this page. So here's the direction, or here's the address to the conference venue. Uh, notes on arriving by plane, notes about arriving on train. Then we also provide um, a set of block hotels. Our three partner hotels are the Gibson, the Hilton, and the uh, Clayton Hotel. We've uh, reserved these discount prices for you for this event, so please take advantage of it. And if you want to be in the thick of the DrupalCon action, we also recommend just taking advantage of this. So go to this page, visit, see if there's a little information. Um, you know, we try to do a good job of um, making sure the prices vary in each hotel accommodates to your specific needs. The farthest one's 10 minute walk from the venue. So um, that's nice. But if five minutes is a huge deal, go ahead and do this one. Um, each uh, hotel has its own reserva uh, reservation portal. So if you want to reserve your room, click through here, and you can order directly through here, and this is where uh, how you take advantage of that discount. Again, we've uh, done this for you guys. We want to make sure everyone has a uh, affordable time and it can be in the pick of the action without having to, um, you know, go to a hostel or do whatever it needs to be. So um, the main hotel will be the Gibson. This is where um, the 24 Sprint Lounge will be. Um, this is where a majority of the attendees will stay. So if you're interested in being in that, that's where you want to go. The next thing I want to cover and last thing is just the general uh, programming of uh, DrupalCon. Many of you have probably been to DrupalCons before or been to conferences similar, so you understand. Um, so to start, what is a session? A session is generally, is basically a, um, 
a educational or training period um, you will have a speaker so it is not conversation as much as it is a presentation um, but then there's specific tracks so if you want to just learn about being human so this is um, you know we all work digitally are within the digital systems and spend a lot of times uh, on the computer, but you know, it's important to reflect and be like, you know, these are humans that are building this great project. Um, then you can go all the way down to coding and development if that's what you want. Um, most of these sessions will be an hour long. Um, we try to make it so there's something that interests everyone. If you are prospecting or if you have clients that are attending, you know, we always recommend sending them to these. Uh, the Drupal Showcase is the sponsor one. That's probably a good one to, um, you know, have your prospects or clients attend to learn a little bit more about uh, Drupal. The next thing are boss or birds or feather. You notice they're not here yet. So these are going to be um, the more conversation types. They're smaller. There's no presenter, but there is a facilitator. And it's just going to be conversations around uh, with people that feel passionate about about a similar topic or just have the same sort of questions revolving a certain topic. Once uh, those open up, you are welcome to submit it. And it's basically first come, first serve. If you see an open room, you click on that room and put the title and put an abstract. And, um, you know, as they say, if you build it, they will come. So if you are really passionate about something, there's probably a good chance that someone else is. Or if your company um, has um, questions or issues and you think other people do, submit that BOF when you have a chance. And it's a good chance for you to uh, get into some really, really um, important conversations that need to be held at DrupalCon. That's what it's here for. It's um, a physical get together of the Drupal community when these conversations need to be had. We hope that they're had here. Um, trainings. So, trainings happen on Monday before um, the actual programming starts. Trainings is just what it sounds like. They're training classes, um, they're going to be more developer development focused. So, if you're front end, back end, DevOps, um, Drupal 8, Twig, Whatever it may be, uh, once the trainings are announced, you'll be able to uh, purchase tickets to attend these or purchase them for your developers for a little bit of uh, professional development. Summits are also going to happen on Monday. So these are our um, vertical specific uh, get togethers. Again, similar to a BOF, it's, these are much larger than BOFs. Um, they happen all day. But it's going to be more conversational. There is a facilitator, but if you're interested or you work in the um, higher education um, uh, industry or the government industry, and you want to talk with the fellow uh, people that work in the same industry as you, and you want to see why uh, Drupal is, you know, the chosen platform, or if you want to talk about questions or concerns that you have, I recommend attending these. These are, you know, the, these are uh, some of the most rich conversations that you'll have all day. Yes, it is a long day, 9 to 17, but um, it's more than worth it. If you want to attend the business summit, this is a chance for you to uh, meet and share your concerns with the other fellow Drupal shops. So if you're a Drupal agency, these are going to be the owners and executives of these that are their lifestyle and their, the, the success of the business uh, lives with Drupal. If you're in DevOps or if you just want to learn about um, how to get into the Drupal community, attend these. Um, they do have a fee, but the community summit is free. Again, these happen on Monday. Um, and so now I just kind of want to cover the schedule at a glance. So, uh, just a quick rundown of what the week's activities will look like because it is more than the three days. It is a week and it is from morning till night. 
So on Sunday, registration opens up at 15 to 18. If you guys are the ones that just want to get started as soon as possible because you're so excited, you can come in on Sunday. On Monday, as I mentioned before, you'll see trainings, summits. There will be sprints. So if you have developers, please send them over to these sprints. Um, and, you know, let's, let's build Drupal. Um, there will be the first time attendee social, which is a nice, um, nice event for uh, first timers. You don't have to be a first timers, but this could be a good place for you to meet first timers. It's a um, nice networking social event. Uh, it's always fun. And then the opening reception. This is when you're an exhibitor, you want to be there, ready, staff, ready to exhibit, ready to uh, network with all the attendees. But if you're not an exhibitor, come because it's a blast. It's my, one of my favorite uh, events of the whole time. On Tuesday, Wednesday, it's going to be very similar um, schedules. Each morning we'll start with the keynote. Um, the exhibit halls will open. Sessions will begin. Boss will begin. The sprint lounge will be open all day. And then later in that evening on Tuesday, women in Drupal will uh, start. You can find out more information on that online. On Wednesday, it's the same thing. Keynote, exhibit hall, session, boss, sprint lounge is going to be open. But um, if you're interested in attending a Drupal Association public board meeting, come on in. Thursday, uh, very similar again, aside from the fact that the keynote is a community keynote. Exhibit hall, sessions, boss, sprint lounge is going to be open. And then around uh, 15 o'clock, the closing session will happen. This is fun, you know, just relax, wind down, get a recap of what happened. And then uh, Drupal Trivia. Uh, that will happen later in the evening. Uh, information is available here on the website if you want to find it. Please attend. That's the best. It's not Trivia Night. It's Drupal Trivia Night. Um, I think that's enough said right there. And then on Friday, all the sprints happen. This is a huge day. If you're a company... Send in all your developers. Have them repping your brand, brand shirts, logo shirts, whatever it may be, because this is uh, one of the most critical aspects of DrupalCon. It is important that people um, within the Drupal community get together in person and fix issues or innovate on the Drupal project. So if you're a first-timer, there's stuff for you. If you're interested in uh, contributing to Core, there's going to be people there to uh, teach you how. And then there's going to be general sprints. Uh, I'm sure most of your developers are going to be aware of that. All right. That was a lot uh, to talk about. Um, there will be another webcast that's going to be how to maximize your sponsorship investment happening on the 31st of August. This one's going to be more about strategy, um, preparation, follow-ups, goals. Basically, how to maximize each of your benefits beyond just the general fulfillment on when things are due, turn in time, et cetera. So um, it's going to be a little bit more in depth um, what DrupalCon is all about, what Drupal is all about, how to reach the audience that you want to reach from a marketing and business perspective, um, how to create your business objectives that uh, are in line with the Drupal community. So again, if you're interested in that, especially if you're a first time sponsor, please attend. Um, but I think I mentioned before, both of this uh, webcast and the next one will be recorded. So you'll have access to that on our YouTube channel. Um, I like this one because uh, it really does get into the meat and potatoes behind your sponsorship. And finally, I'd like to say thank you again, because as I mentioned time and time and again, without your support, this event wouldn't happen. These critical conversations would not be taking place between um, the Drupal minds out there, and these sprints would not be able to happen to fix these issues. And really, uh, we wouldn't be able to witness the Drupal community at its finest. So thank you so much for what you guys do. If you guys have any questions, please reach out to me.
There's my email address, there's my Skype, there's my phone number, there's my Drupal.org name. I'm pretty accessible, so please um, reach out to me, and I'm happy to help you with anything you need. And with that being said, I will uh, conclude this webcast, and I hope to see you in the next one.